Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to open ports for Data Force Black Oak Down to host your own server. Um, first of all, go on to your start menu and click in, um, no sorry, click run and then type in CMD. And once you click OK on that, a box should appear. And it'll uh, say C. Then, then dot things backslash documents and settings backslash the computer name and then you type in IP config so when the box appears just type in IP config and some stuff will show up and you'll get your default gateway so you either write that down or you copy that somewhere and so I know that Open your explorer and you type in your default gateway. Uh, a little box should appear for your username and password. So if you don't have that, get that. Um, you can either find it in your um, manual uh, for your router or whatever you got with your router off your internet supplier. It's normally admin and then admin for the password also, but it can be changed. I don't know how to do that, so just go on to that part anyway. <laughs> it's normally on a... Uh, your thing like layout might be different than this. I know a lot of people have use a certain program to open ports or something like this. Um, but I don't know how it, what um what they use for that. So I just do it through the router itself. If you're doing it through the router, go in that. Go to virtual server. And something like this should pop up. Um, on rule index, you leave that as one. You type in the application name. Um, this is actually my dad's route I'm doing it on, and he's not actually done it correctly. So I'm going to quickly set this up for him also. Just so he knows what it is. <laughs> um, the box next to it, if you've got a box, leave that blank. Protocol, you leave that as UDP. The start port number is what you want your server to be. Um, at the moment, in time this one is a default. And then you type in the local IP address, which you would have also got off where you got your default gateway. If you've skipped the video, you go to start, run, CMD, type in IP config. All this, I'll have instructions in this the description. Uh, you type the IP in anyway. You type in the port again and start port local. Uh, and then you scroll down to the bottom. Click submit. Yeah, it'll refresh when it's done. There we go. And now you want to open a remote port so you can have admins or so you can manage the server yourself. So we're going to have to a new one. On this one, you leave the protocol as all. You type in start port number 31000, end port number 31000, um, local IP address. Again, your start port is the same as the port what you've just done, 31000, and the same for the end port. And that's that done. Um, now, get your server up and running. You can either use Anaconda, which nobody ever uses now, or you can use Babstats. Multitracker version 3. You need to make sure you download the... Um,
um, server side, not the remote. Once you've got the server side, you'll need to modify. No, sorry, you'll need to add a profile. Uh, hold on, I'll show you now. Um, start that program up. That shouldn't take long. Taking this time become recording. Normally it just comes straight on. There we go. This will <coughs> pop up, um you'll not have a game name there to start with, it'll be blank. But make sure you update it and the plugins and everything make sure that's all correct because if it's not correct then it's not going to work then you come on and add profile you just type in your game name i've just typed two random letters you do have to locate your game or you'll not be able to host the server make sure it's the actual game and not the LAN connection. You can tell the difference by the LAN connection will have L C at the end when your normal game will not. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and on the profile game, because this is a Delta Force game, I'm showing the Delta Force how to do it. <coughs> I don't know about joint operations and maybe the same I don't know so with Delta Force. Um, stat system is Neos Coronis version 197 plus. The URL uh, um, to PHP scripts, that's your website. And you want to make sure the scripts for um, Bab Stats is installed and the database and everything is installed. If you don't know how to do it, you can either get someone to do it for you or you can get your host to do it. Um, so you type in that, I'm not going to do that right now, you get in it, add, you have to press add URL, but on the server code, you need to enter that also first before you type in the add URL, sorry, before you hit the button. So we'll give this one as um, GA1, and then off, after you've got the um, link in, click add URL and down here you've got down here you've got miss options or start up on connect um connect on startup sorry and announce ranks and rewards I'm not too sure what or connect on startup does so I'm not gonna click that because I've never really clicked that but what I've just done there is announce the ranks and um awards when a player on your BHD server um, plays for 10 minutes, they'll get a medal um, accommodation award for playing on your server for 10 minutes. Um, 500 kills with a sniper gets a marksman badge and things like that. Left lean up, leaning players, I've clicked this arm. Left lean is known to be a glitch on Black Hawk Down because it's such an old game. Um, but I've heard a few people complaining about me leaning out of doorways. That can glitch, but the way I do it is I've got my gun um, at the wall, just like at the door frame, and then I'll lean out. But I don't actually hold my lean, I just press it so I can quickly see. So it's like a quick scope lean basically, it's not glitching, I've used their phone, checked it all. I've had um, two of my friends, one behind us and one in front of us on the game to see if I'm glitching and they've both said I'm not glitching so that one is okay um, then you just click add profile we'll add. if it works, which it should, that little box should appear and then we'll go, we've got that little JA um, game if you've got both of them and you need to 
change them one of them without changing another one, just simply left click once and then hit server manager. That little box was saying it needs to be active before I can change anything on it. So um, I'm not going to actually activate it because the computer will slow down even more. Um, if you need help, let me know and I'll try my best to help. And this video was on how to open ports for Delta Force Black Oak Down. Also, make sure your game is fully updated before you use Bab Stats. If your game doesn't update, go to novelogic.net. You can get updates from there and no CD patches and quite a lot of good things from there. Um, hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe for more. Thanks.